Hey, have you ever wondered how tall that tree is or how wide that stream is? We'll show you a fun way to know. Stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about distances and heights and how to measure them accurately or close. So first thing that we need to do is to know what our personal pace is. We're gonna show you how to measure that out and then transfer that knowledge into measuring the distance or height. Let's go. Measuring your personal pace is something that you can actually do at home. And it's a fun thing to do with the kids or friends. And then you can challenge each other to see who is the most accurate. Let me show you how it's done. The first thing that you need to do is to put in a stake as a base marker and then measure off 10 yards or 10 meters or whatever is the most comfortable measurement unit for you. I'll start with my tape and I'm going to use yards. Let's measure off 10 yards. All right, here we go. Okay, we've measured out 10 yards. Let's put in our next stake. Now that we've got our second marker in, let's go ahead and pace it off and see what our count is. Some people do better counting every other step and some do better counting every step. I like every step. Let's see what happens. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. It looks like my pace is 11 steps for 10 yards, but we're on uneven ground, so I'm going to go ahead and try it again so that we can get an average. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yes, it's 11 steps. And so now I have a base of what 10 yards is for me. Yours might be a little bit different. And if you're young and growing, you may want to check your pace every six months or so and see if it's changed as you grow. So I found this stick and I'm going to use that as my measuring stick. And what I'm going to do is take the top of the stick and put it at the top of the pine tree. And then with my finger, come down to the base of the pine tree and find the base. Then I will turn it horizontally and make a mental note of where the end is on the ground. So this part stays at the base of the tree. This is now on the ground. And then I'll go walk off the pace, which will tell me the height of the tree. So now that I've got a measurement, I'm going to turn it horizontally, keeping my finger at the base of the tree and visually mark where the end of the stick is. Then I'll go pace it off and that will tell me the height of the tree. Now we're going to pace from the base of the tree to the other tree that I visually marked with my stick. So that was 15 paces. Let's check it, walk back the other way. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So knowing that my pace is 11 steps for 10 yards and knowing that the tree is about 15 paces tall, that converts to about 41 feet tall. So we're at this little bridge and we're wondering how wide is the stream or how long is the bridge? You of course could use the stick method that we use for measuring a tree or you could use the brim of your hat. So what I'm going to do is pull the brim of my hat down so it's just above my eyes. Turn my head and focus the point of the bridge of the hat on the end of the bridge or the other side of the stream. Now carefully keeping your head on the same plane, move 90 degrees and visually find a point on the ground. To that point, 
We're going to pace and see how accurate that we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's go back the other way. Seven paces, both directions. Okay, let's see how we did. One, two, three, four, six, seven. So I think my pace of the bridge was a little bit long on the shore, but pretty close. I hope that this has been interesting and fun for you. Join us again at OSME TV.